Jella too. And our host, Vincent Van Gogh. And he brings it to you. As a program that features horror films, we've more than once featured the devil, shared sordid tales about Lucifer, and bemused our viewers with stories revolving around Beelzebub. And while we have no formal affiliation with this fallen angel, the nature of our format does necessitate thorough coverage of this peculiar aspect of our chosen genre. You once helmed a musical troupe titled Prince of Darkness. I indeed did. However, that was more of a fashion statement relative to fabric color than a salute of allegiance and servitude to the father of lies. But we'll return to this devilish topic in a moment. First this. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. With me is the major domo of Polter Manor, the illustrious Mr. Livingston. And the talented young lass in the background taping horns to our reluctant handyman, Andrew, is the darling and dainty young lady of the manor, the thoughtful and considerate Miss Tangella. Have we a wonderfully amazing and jubilicious program in store for you. Tonight we'll be taking in a lovely little film from 1973 titled Lisa and the Devil. This is a rather silly name for a wonderful film directed by Mario Bava and starring the lovely Elkie Summer and the audacious Telly Savalas. This film was originally called El Diablo Se Leva a Los Muertos, which translates to The Devil Takes the Dead. Personally, I think this is a far superior title, as opposed to Lisa and the Devil, as the latter sounds like the title of a bad episode of The Bloody Love Boat. I somewhat rather like that, show. You're weird. In any case, we'll be up to some other amusing things as well as we watch tonight's film. So don't you dare go away, because it's going to be another night of satanic movie fright right here on Creature Features! Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome to Creature Features. We're so happy to have you here tonight. You know why? Do you know why? Why? Because they are going to watch an interesting movie with us tonight. Indeed. Indeed it is. So, uh, have you seen this movie, Livingston? I have not. How about you, Tangela? No? All right. See? It's going to be a surprise for everyone except for me because I watched it ahead of time. I had to make sure it was a good movie. No, it's, it's important that we show good movies to our friends at home. We check the important reviews. The important reviews. Well, you know, actually, this film did not get the best reviews. It did not. No, no. Well, what happened was everyone compared it to The Bloody Exorcist. I mean, you can't compare these films to The Exorcist. No. Yeah, that had Linda Blair and spinning heads. Yeah, it's difficult to get both of those things in one film. You can get one or the other. And the pea soup. This film has no pea soup. I'm warning you ahead of time. But it's a fun film. Uh, we're going to have a fun night. We're gonna do, you're going to make some popcorn, right? If you wish. Of course I wish. Popcorn. You know, there's nothing like movie and a popcorn. Well, popcorn and a movie. One's a plural, one's not. 
All right, I'm getting silly. Let's start this film, and when we come back, uh, we're going to, uh, what, meet Tangela's goat? She's been bugging me to let her bring this goat on to the show. So you get to meet Tangela's goat next. So uh, off we go to Lisa and the Devil. Don't go away. Out of its day. Look closely. The face of Satan expresses a quality which reflects the very soul of pleasure in evil. The devil seems a presence so strong and overpowering that this painting has led to a local superstition. The people of this region believe that it is only the power of the devil himself which has kept this fresco from ruin. Although hey, the listen, devil I'll be right back, okay? Work, Lisa, where are you going? Wait for me there, all right? Yeah, well, hurry back. Well, I think this black here would be better, you know, because then you could use it on all occasions, for funerals, weddings, whenever you like. Mm, you have a point. Oh, I trimmed the mustache a little, as you <coughs> asked me to. Excuse mm. me, but how much are you asking for this? It's not for sale. It belongs to the gentleman here. Oh. Up oh, we go. <laughs> Do you think black is too severe, miss?
Plaza Central. Is she the lady we met in this shop? Hello, miss. Excuse me, I... I, I am lost. Uh, can you... Uh, can you tell me where the main square is? Oh, come back here. <laughs> Excuse me. The square? What square? Well, the one... Well, the one where the painting is the uh, fresco of the devil carrying away the dead. Ah. That way.
Evet. Why do you look at me like that? Why? You knew that I'd come back, Judith. Someday no. we'd find each other again. No, don't ask. You, you must have known that I would have come back. No, no. No, Elena. Let me go. No. Ah! Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching Lisa and the Devil. And she's not with the Devil yet. She's just lost her tour party. Yes, that's how it begins. Well, you know, she could have just picked up her cell phone and called one of the others. This was the 70s. So? There were no cell phones in the 70s. No, no. And Tangela's got a goat. My goodness, did your mama goat have another goat? You know... So we have a neighbor who has a male goat. She has no male goats, except she does now. And it, it got in, right? It jumped over to the females. I think it went under the fence. Under the fence. So uh, now we've gone from 50 goats to uh, 50, 53 now. So what are you going to call this one? No, you can't call him that. No. So she's, she says she's going to call him Butch. Which is, it's a good name for a, a goat, right? It's a kid. Perhaps. Tangela has kids. She has too many kids. Good ones, sir. No, they are good ones. Anyway, so we're going to get back to this mo movie in a moment, but uh, what's new, Mr. Livingston? Everything good besides the whole goat issue? No, it's a bit messy. Well, you know, I prefer that she brings them inside the home when they're this young, because there's predators. There's like coyotes and, and cougars and, and zebra that will eat small goats. I don't think zebras eat meat. No, uh, well, they bite. They I've, do bite. No, I've been bitten by a zebra at uh, Safari West. One of them tried to bite me. Of course, I shouldn't have been petting it, right? You shouldn't have been on that side of the fence. No, well, you know, it's, they're, they're lovely creatures. They're like horses, but they're different. They're like striped horses. No, striped donkeys. So, um, Tangela, uh, when are you going to stop with the goats? No, you 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 got to put an end to it somehow. Maybe maybe we could have like the female spade or something like that. Can they do that? I have no idea. Right. Well, we'll just have to talk to the neighbor. I think the neighbor's going to have to take a couple of these babies. I mean, it's his fault, right? Yeah. You know, help. He's no help when it comes to agricultural items. All right. Well, let's get back to Lisa and the Devil, and uh, when we come back, uh, we'll be up to something else, right? Indeed. All right. Off we go. Lisa and the Devil. You guys stay with us. Next 
do there. George, we'll give this young lady a lift. The upper hose is losing water, sir. It should be repaired. That's up to you. Let's go on. can't go much further, not without burning out the motor. You and your foreign cars. What do we do now? Wait for parts to come in from the factory? Stop that, will you? How do you open these? George! Thank you, George. Madam. How long is it? Well, we had the hose only a few minutes. Can't you fix it? I'll try. Please, George. Oh, uh, good evening. I, uh, very sorry to bother you, but we've had some trouble with the car. The water hose is leaking, and we'll need a mechanic. I realize it's late, but if we could use your phone and get in touch with a garage, we could... I'm sorry, there is no telephone here. We have so little use for it, you see. <laughs> yes, my lady, certainly. Is there a hotel nearby? No, not in the immediate vicinity. Oh, there are a few roadside inns, but their accommodations would hardly be for you. See. Coming, my lady. Oh, this is awful. George, where oh, are yes, you? Is Madam. Dreadful night. Please stay. Don't go away. Where could we find one of these roadside inns? No, 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 please. Don't go away. My mother's not used to visitors. We live alone. But please, please come in. Maximilian, what should you need? Excuse me, I'll... only be a moment. Mother! Mother! Tell them to go, Maximilian, dear, listen to me. We're always so alone. It'll only be for one night. Mother, please. She... They've no place to go. Only for one night. 
Very well, if you wish. Oh, thank you, Mother. Mark, not in here. Show them to the cottage. You know, the villa's a bit run down, but I'm sure the cottage will be suitable. Besides, even the cottage would prefer it. Miss. Uh, you and I earlier this evening, yes? I... I mean, you were lost and asked for directions. You do remember, don't you? No. Hmm. I uh, do most of the shopping for the countess, and I'm often in town. Uh, and very little escapes me, if you know what I mean. Well, are we supposed to stand here? Listen there, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Come, please. Come this way. Oh, so slippery. Careful. There's a bit of moss here. <laughs> and there. And everywhere. <laughs> to come, miss. Where's your husband? I guess. Oh. Taking his bath. Well, the first thing he did was to go look for a tub. <laughs> no need to worry. Mm. He knows about us. He's not blind. Just that he doesn't care. Don't look like that. Hmm? I love you.
What's the matter? What's wrong? What frightened you so? That's only my hand, though. No, 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 it... Dummy. It, it wasn't Leandro, it oh, was... Oh, he was carrying one of those. Oh, it was awful. The villa's full of them. They're harmless. Don't cry. Don't. This is such a gloomy house. We're so alone. You can't imagine how... how happy I am now that you're back. Back? This is the last rose of the season. It lingered on and waited for you. If only you would stay. Don't go away. I beg. I... I don't even know you. Everything's so different with you here. I feel alive and happy. Don't say no. Please. Maximilian? <gasps> is that you there? Yes, Mother. Excuse me. I have to go now. I'll see you at dinner. All right. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Hello, Creature Feature friends! Tangella and I just wanted to remind you that... What's this then? It's a light. Oh, I can see that. How does it warrant interrupting my announcement? It's broken. Pity. Well, replace it then, lad. What's the plan? We need money. Well, how much? That's a bloody king's ransom for a silly lamp. I can buy a goodly amount of Westinghouse stock for that much money. Here you go. There's not many of those happy little bundles left, but maybe you can help. Please consider becoming a patron for Creature Features. For just a few dollars a month, you can help cover these unexpected mishaps. And more importantly, with your generous support, we can do a myriad of other things to help keep you entertained every week, like get better movies, more guests, and we might even be able to make that Creature Features movie so many of you have asked us to do. And if you're willing to spend a little more, there's some additional benefits for you as well. So visit the link below and become a patron member of the Creature Features family today. I will thank you, Tangella will thank you, and Andrew will stop breaking our expensive lights. Oh, and did I mention we have some hospital bills to pay as well? Welcome back to Creature Features. We are still watching Lisa and the Devil, 1973. I like this film. Do you? Do you know, want to know why I like this film? Why? Because they have a manner quite similar to this one, but they did a better job at decorating than we did. It's true. You know, it's more colorful than our abode. Then it's not genuine. Well, no, it's, it looks genuine to me. You think it's a movie set? Decidedly. Decidedly a movie set. All right. Well, that's a good explanation. You know, it, there, there is some merit to using an actual home for your show as opposed to building a set, right? You know, if we, if we did this on a set, you would not have the tower to sleep in. You would be like, you would have some kind of dressing room. It would be like a salad dressing room because you like salad. Anyways, uh, Tangella, you know, I heard that you were quite unkind to Andrew. Yes, no. No, somebody had to run him off to the 24-hour the, the medical care. Because Agatha he... was kind enough to take him to hospital. Mm. All right, well, hopefully he'll be back soon. I was going to let him sit in on a segment. In any case, uh, so uh, this movie 
was made in 1973, came out in 1974, and you want to know something else interesting. They took this film, filmed some additional scenes, and made another exorcism-like film just to try to be like the exorcist. And they ruined it. This is the original you're watching now. It's not like this, this poorly made, cobbled-together thing. It happens sometimes. This is what they did with um, the, the planet of prehistoric women. You're looking at me like I'm lying or something. No, it's true. No, I'm looking at you in a curious manner. All right. So the planet of prehistoric women was originally uh, Planet of Burr in Russia. A Russian movie. Right, yeah. right. And it was a nice science fiction film. And then some American came and clipped it up. And he put in all these these scenes with nubile young women ah. and turned it into planet of prehistoric women. Anyway, so they did it this, to this film as well. Hmm. They took it from Italy, and somebody brought it here and added extra scenes. Anyways, Google it. You'll see. Anyways, let's get... Oh, my goodness. Be nice to me. Let's get back to the film, and uh, when we come back, we have to do letters, right? It's time we for do. Letters. Yes, time for letters. All right, we'll see you soon. Good evening, Mr. Rabbit, or is it Mr. Hare? Would you care for a radish? No? They're very good. I'm very pleased that you decided to accept our invitation. Thank you, I... Oh, thank you. Yes, apparently our intrusion wasn't very tight. Oh, no, no, no. You're most welcome. Our mother's not used to visitors. She was a bit frightened, that's all. It was all so unexpected. You understand? Yes, of course. So thrilling. Thrilling? <laughs> you must be tired. Was it a long trip? Well, that depends on the starting point, doesn't it? I'm afraid I wouldn't know how to answer that. Oh? I never plan things that far ahead. I certainly envy you. A new horizon emerges for you each day. My world, instead, is the very configuration of this villa. I... Mother! Oh, excuse me. I'm so glad you came down. Thank you, Mother. Good evening. Leandro, I would like to be introduced to our guest. I'm Francis Lehar. My wife, Sophia, and I wish to thank you for your kind assistance. That we... will suffice, thank you. Your ladyship, um, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Francis Lehar? And may I also present Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Lisa, Lisa Reiner. Miss Lisa Reiner. Please be seated. Thank you, Your Ladyship. Our guest, uh, Mr. Lehar, was telling us just before you arrived, Mother, of his journeys. He has the world in the palm of his hand, it would seem. <laughs> Where's the other person? Other person? You must mean the chauffeur. He's outside. No, not the chauffeur, dear. I mean the fifth person who came here this evening. Mother, believe me. Maximilian, dear, you haven't forgotten him, have you? It's so easy to imagine a mysterious visitor in this house. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, thank you. Uh, rare, very rare. The entire setting is so right for a tall tale of gloom and perdition. <laughs> we could make one up as we go along. We have the right ingredients. The dark night. This house. It's all so... so spooky. Don't you find, your ladyship? I prefer ghosts to vampires, though. They're so much more human. They have the tradition to live up to. Sophia. Somehow they manage to keep all the horror in without spilling any blood. Listen to me, please. You're tired. What's wrong, Maximilian? Nothing. Nothing, really. Don't worry. Everybody. I told you he'd be back. Mother. I, I 
was not introduced to the fifth guest, Maximilian. Please, excuse me, but I... I'll only be a moment. Do continue, please. I have to... Leandro, the cake. It's with chocolate sprinkles. Leandro, perhaps our guests would like some cake also. It's quite good. Please continue. I'll, I'll be right back. Excuse me. brought you some cake. It's your favorite, with the chocolate sprinkles. Did you know he was back? You mustn't see him. You must send him away. not let him come between us again. He's caused enough anguish. You'll never enter this room. You have nothing to say? You're not asleep. You can pretend if you like. But you'll never leave this room. Do you hear me? Never! Never. That should do it. You'll be leaving at once? Uh-huh. Quite adept with these mechanical toys, aren't you? So-so. Thanks for the... Oh, you're over there. Thanks for the, the tape. Could you tell the others to get ready? I'll be through here in a minute. Of course. Thanks. That didn't take much, did it? No. Just a lot of tape. Most things aren't that easy to mend. How could you come back after what you've done to us? Mother, mother was certain that you'd return. She was certain. But I never thought you'd have the courage. Why did you have to come back now? Just when I found happiness. Hmm. 
I won't let you destroy everything. You can't take her away again. Where are you? How can I stop you when I can't even see you? Where are you, you coward? Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, finally. This is so nerve-wracking. Lisa, we're leaving as soon as the car is ready. I would be glad to take you. Oh, uh, I don't think our young lady would be going with you. Master Maximilian has asked you to stay. Come. Come closer, girl. The eyes, Leandro. What color are the eyes? Changeable, my lady. But by candlelight, blue. She's blind, my God. And the hair, Leandro. Tell me of it. Tell me of the hair. Light, my lady, and gently flowing. Golden like a field of wheat? No, my lady. Brighter still, and haloing an equally beautiful countenance. Oh, she's a very lovely creature, my lady. You wouldn't listen when I told you to stay away. Now it's too late. Going out of my mind, Frank. These people are all crazy. What's happened to George? What's going on? Where's George gone, dear? To fix the car. Oh. Calm down, will you? Calm down. Oh. All right. I'll go out and take a look. And you? Calm down.
Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching Lisa and the Devil. I like that title now. I didn't like it before, but now I do. It sounds like a love story. Indeed. I like love stories. Hmm. All right, so uh, it's time to do letters because we get mail from our lovely viewers at home and we have to open and read them, right? Indeed. All right, let's do some mail. Ozark, Missouri with a Star Trek stamp. A Star Trek stamp? Oh, look at this. Are you sure it's not Space Force? Could be Space Force. Oh, no, I see the USS Enterprise and not the one in the Navy. All right, this is from Chris Dunn, Ozark, Missouri. How oh, wonderful. Oh, it's a handwritten note. Oh, nice handwriting, Chris. Thank you. You know, there was some point in time where I was going to ask the viewers to print instead of... But no, he's got lovely writing. All right, here we go. Uh, this is from Christopher in uh, Springfield. And he goes, hello, Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and Tangela. This is Chris from Springfield, Missouri. I'm so glad your show airs on YouTube. That's kind of a misnomer, airs on YouTube. Because that it does not actually go out on the air. It's a direct line. But I like that. Uh, that's how those of us outside California are able to catch it, like myself here in the Midwest. I discovered your show because I also watch Nerd Roddick, our friend, and YouTube suggested I watch an episode of Creature Features because Gary Beekler was a guest. I've been hooked ever since and have even subscribed. Wonderful. Uh, everywhere I go, it seems a crowd follows, so hopefully your popularity will spread throughout YouTube and the other 49 states and territories so you can finally afford some good Ray ha Harryhausen flicks. By the way, did you guys get dissed by William Shatner? I suppose we somewhat sort Might of... Might call it a diss. No. He's a nice man. He's just too busy for us. Anyway, keep rocking on. I'll keep tuning in. P.S. Don't send Tangela to finishing school. She would only break them. Do you hear that? She says don't send you to finishing school. You know, you think she'd be a bit nicer. All right, what do we got next? Oh, a package? A package. A package in a plastic bag package. This is from Bailey Kelb. We know Bailey in Tasmania. Oh, and there's gifts. Tasmania, oh, look at this. Australia. Look at this. Oh, I know this creature. You know, these are supposedly it's extinct. This is a Tasmanian tiger. Tasmanian devil, They're, no? No, it's not the devil. It's hmm. the Tasmanian tiger, which actually looks more like a dog, if you look at it. But now, they're supposedly... I'm talking about it. I'll give it to you when I'm done speaking. They're supposedly extinct, but there have been sightings of this particular animal in Tasmania and Australia. So now you can have it. Well, that's so nice of you, Bailey. And look at this. This is a platypus. Is that what this is? Duck-billed platypus. It's a duck-billed platypus, of course. This must be yours. Well, she sent us three, so I imagine oh, she's going to keep them all. Oh, no, this would be Livingston because he looks like he's wearing a tuxedo, right? And then Livingston makes this face every now and then as well. Here, you should hold this until she takes it from you. All right. And oh, there's more. Oh, look. This is like Christmas. Thank you, Bailey. Hey, all right, a Tasmanian beanie. This, you know, you should try this on. I'm down to some moment. That would look that would look good on you. All right, let's read the notes. Oh my goodness, there's more. There's postcards. Oh no, she Oh, that's the Tasmanian devil. Yes, the black one. I thought it was a bear. All right, Tasmanian devil and you, oh, all kinds of cards. This is amazing. All right, we're going to read those in a moment. Let's read the notes. Uh that's about the postcard. She goes. Hi, this is Bailey Kelb. Hi Bailey. I'm writing to you again to thank you for the autograph photo. You're quite welcome. My three-year-old sister, Claudia, was so excited to see the photo of Tangela. She just loves her, yelling out her name every time we watch the show. 
but you know even three-year-olds like her i don't know why um, unfortunately the photo got wet on its way to us in the post and is water damaged well that's terrible well, i thought you were putting these in plastic bags i tried no well you know what it is it's it has to go down under and has to go by a lot of ocean so it's probably just ocean spray but we're going to replace that for you uh, the signatures have come off. So sad. But I'm sending you presents from Tasmania to thank you. Hopefully they get to you safely. We still enjoy your show and would love to see more movies from your opening credits like Trilogy of Terror. We enjoyed it so much. Thanks again. Keep up the good work, Bailey Kelb. Well, thank you so much, Bailey. That was so sweet of you to send those gifts. We will be sending a box back to you with some wonderful items. And uh, what? Something else to read? Males are also venomous. They have sharp spurs on the heels of their rear legs. Oh, the platypus. The platypus. I never knew that. I always thought they were friendly little things. You know, she always watches Animal Planet. I don't know if you do as well, Bailey, but uh, she learns a lot from that. All right, last item. This is from New York. It's a box. It's a heavy box. Feels like books. Somebody sent us books. Good, good guess. Oh, yes, it's books. Look at this. All right, let's read the note first. My goodness. What do I do with all these books? You know, you think I have time to read this? I used to have time to read before I started doing the show. Now I don't. All right, uh, this is from uh, your humble booksellers, Geiger and Archer. Oh, I like that. It sounds like a law firm. All right, greetings from Geiger and Archer Books in Endicott, New York. Hello, Endicott. We hope this goody box of books will provide some level of literary entertainment. Mr. Archer grew up in the Philadelphia area and was nurtured on Shock Theater, Creature Double Feature, and Saturday Night Dead. There should be at least one book of interest for all of you, so enjoy Vincent Tangella and the always competent... Mr. Livingston. P.S. Could you present the Quartermass films? What's a Quartermass film? I have no idea. Do you know what that is, Tom? I shall look it up. Is it something we should be doing? Look at this. The complete Sherlock Holmes. I, you know, I don't know if you've read all of them. Which is Sabbath? I have, actually. She's going to like this. Oh, there's so many. I can't go through all of these, but let's look at an interesting one. Look at this. The Man Eater. Yeah, I think this is a book about Tangella. You should read this one first. All right, well, we shall go through these. Thank you so much. All right, that's it for letters. If you would like to send us a letter of your own through email, use the address you see appearing over here, or if you'd like to send something in the post, like our friends at the bookstore, send it to this address here. We'll be right back in a short bit, but first let's get back to Lisa and the Devil. simple explanation for almost everything. Don't you agree?
cold. You're trembling, darling. Oh, Carlos. When I saw you, I, I had to come back and help you in some way. To give you life and happiness. Don't leave me, please. The thought of losing you fills me with such sadness. I don't dare think of it. so long for you. No! George? George? Where are you? George? George! Oh, where did he go? George! What's the matter? Oh, yeah. Where have you been? Did you find him? Obviously not. Your concern for our chauffeur is almost touching. Where are you going? If this is your way of being a man, Frank, I'm very unimpressed. You slut. Let go of me. Oh, <laughs> 
We don't want anyone coming now. It's all so horrible. Don't you think Mother predicted it? We mustn't call them. They'll pry into our lives and we'll all be guilty. It's not always wise to stir up the past. We all have some unforgivable secret. Sarah, let us leave well enough alone. Your mother mentioned there being someone else in the house. If we haven't seen him, there must be a reason, don't you think? Hey, this is uh, Marcos from Redwood City, California. Me and my mom absolutely love your guys' show. And I just want to say, Tangela is my favorite character. I'm sorry, all y'all are hella cool, but she's my favorite. Thank you. Bye. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. I'm just having a miserable time with my hair today. Today? Well, it's just, it's like the, it, it predicts the weather. Now, I know it's going to be a humid day when my hair starts going flat. Now, it's, I, I could be like on the National Weather Service. I doubt that. Yes, I could. They would hire me in a moment. I mean, Space Force wanted me to come on. And go to Venus. Anyways, welcome back to the show. We are watching Lisa and the Devil from 1973. You're liking this film, I could tell, because you've been keeping your eyes on the screen as opposed to your normal wandering about. I'm trying to avoid conversations. You know, he's so low energy today. I don't know what's gotten into him. I think you're just getting burnt out on watching horror films. Might be the weather. The weather, which is about to go humid due to my weather-predicting hair. You're a barometer. I am a barometer. But, you know, I'm a speaking barometer, I'm like a high-tech version. Like Siri. Or... Right, something like that. Anyways, uh, this movie. So uh, Tom gave me some trivia about this movie. He says that they filmed this movie with no sound, and then they went and re recorded all the audio back in later so that they could do it in all the different languages interesting no i think it's uh, i think it's more work than necessary i mean think about it you know they could have done it like in english first and mm. then like put that version out and then made the french version and made the italian version and but then you get that uncoordinated mouth moving well, against I dialogue imagine you would anyways with this anyways it's complicated. I, I think they made films more complicated so that they could like charge more money to the film company. Hmm. It's like, no, sorry, we had to re-record all the audio. That's going to be another hundred thousand dollars. I could be wrong. Anyway, so uh, what do you say we get back to this film? Yes, let's. And then when we come back, I'll let you go do your thing. We'll bring Andrew in. Very well. All right. All right. So uh, off we go. Back to Lisa and the devil. Don't you dare go away because I'm stuck here.
If you would take my humble advice, Mr. Lehar, it would be best to leave at once. Yes, I understand. Would you say my chauffeur discovered something he wasn't supposed to? Who knows? We all have enemies, Mr. Lehar. And what better place to get rid of someone undesirable? Undesirable? Why? What enemies are there in here? Hmm. But not to worry. All you have to do is go and leave the corpse to us. Now, Mr. Lear, can I trouble you for a cigarette? Uh, oh, yes. Mm. 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 Leandro. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Would you mind putting out those cigarettes? The smoke bothers the Contessa. <coughs> you call, my lady. Where is my son? Is he with a girl? I don't know. Get rid of her. We must send her away. Oh, Lisa. What good is it to hope for the future when solitude is all that awaits me? What else is there to live for? What else matters? After having felt the joy of your presence. When I, hmm? when I think of my life and on what poor stuff my dreams were fed, I feel such futility in going on. If you were to leave me, I'd, no, no, it is I who shall never leave you. Oh, Maximilian, what evil spirit forces you to utter such words? Have you no pride? No. I have no pride when it comes to words or things I do. I only have the greatest regrets for what I have not done. Mother, mother, please, try to understand if you knew how desperate I feel. We both know how it will end, Maximilian. No, you're wrong. You're wrong this time, mother. No, my son. It'll be different. You can't stop me, Mother. Oh, my poor child. I'm no longer a child. Let me live my life. Come, Maximilian, come. It's so Just believe me, I want to help you. For years, I've waited for this moment. Trust me, we must flee from here. Wait for me here. I'll go and see what he's doing. Wait for me, my love.
say it with flowers. Elena, what's the matter? I heard you scream. Ah! No, wait. I, I want to help you. Come back. Elena. No, wait. Elena. Ah! Why did you run away from me? I told you I want to help you. I love you. Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat. Making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. I'm not coming with you. I'm staying here until George is buried. Get in the car. We can do without the chauffeur.
made my love Elena we've suffered so much but it's over now my love I've come for you it's all ended Elena <laughs> ah! It's easier said than done. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at that head. Newly molded this morning and already it's split. Must be that synthetic glue. Mm, that's what it is. <laughs> Neither glue nor splinted heads can stop the funeral. The ceremony must go on. The Countess is waiting. Waiting? Hmm. To bury the dead. <laughs> the poor Countess isn't so wrong, really. Wanting to get rid of him. He's not a very pleasant memory. A man losing his head. <laughs> That's pretty good. A man losing his head. Hmm. A husband. Hmm. A husband losing his head over a woman. Shame on you. But still, the Countess wants his body repaired. She wants it put in working order for the burial. Tradition, she says. More work, I say! All this tradition. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I had any. But what does tradition mean to a poor devil like me? Work and fatigue. That's my heritage. They break. They snap. They pop. They crackle. And I'm the one who puts that tradition back together again. <laughs> And now I got another puppet to make. Lucky for me, you look just like her. 
Because you won't be around tomorrow, that's for sure. I knew you'd be back. Everything's been ready. We were only waiting. But you didn't come back here for me, your wife. You came back for her. You saw her. She was in that body. And you came back for her. Gently. Ever so gently. Responsibility. <gasps> Such devilish acts. Where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Is this the face that launched? So many deaths, a modern day Helen, Cleopatra, hmm? Sleeping Beauty, and I'm Prince Charming. Did you sleep well? no reason to faint dead away. It's quite possible that he spoke to you. I mean, this is Senor Carlos. That's the Countess's husband. Maximilian's stepfather. I mean, why shouldn't you have seen him? He was here. <laughs> no, but it, don't you see? It can't be. I, I know it's dead. I, I saw him in his, in his casket in the chapel. In the chapel? No, 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 no. You saw this dummy in the coffin. You see, it's a dress rehearsal for the funeral ceremony. Oh, by the way, I dropped it and it broke on the way here, but please don't tell the Countess. I mean, I, I, I fixed it. You can hardly tell, can you? Hmm? Then Carlos is, is alive, isn't he? Oh, no. Senor Carlos is dead. Leandro. Leandro! Yes, my lady? I heard her running, calling for my son. Hurry, Leandro, there is no time to lose. Tell me, 
Does she really look Oh, like yes. Her? Oh, yes, my lady. She is Miss Helena in person. We must find her. Yes, my lady. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Uh, stay tuned. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. You know, this is costing me a fortune. Is, could you not just like use a rubber mallet on him instead of a full-fledged sledgehammer? I think My I'd apologies. Feel, I'd feel safer around Reagan, and the exorcist. She's, you know, she's, she, she means well. Huh. Maybe she doesn't. In any case, uh, welcome back to the show. We are watching Lisa and the Devil. What do you think of this film? I know you missed some of it, but what do you think of the parts you've seen so far? So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah, he likes everything we show. You know, if I could have an audiences of Andrews, you know, we would like get an Academy Award or something, would we not? Well, for, except for that Guatemalan thing. You cannot say that about my favorite film. No, it's it is my favorite film. You, yeah, I don't know how I put up with these two. They're, they're terrible. Anyway, some trivia about this film is Telly Savalas, the main bald-headed man. I think he's the only bald-headed man. I could be wrong. He, the the whole lollipop thing. He started that for this film. He decided on this film he was going to quit smoking and he was replace it with a lollipop. Smart. It is smart. Yeah. But, you know, he's supposed to be the devil, and the devil with the lollipop I, I don't find as foreboding as, you know, Satan with the sledgehammer. So, what's new, Andy? I'm a little fuzzy right now. A little fuzzy. I'll, I'll write it down and give it, you know, get back to you. I think Livingston was hitting the head with the hammer as well. He's, he's been fuzzy all night. Well, yeah, I have an excuse. Yeah, he's... He's, he's not moving as quickly as he usually does. So who knows? So uh, he's off getting your popcorn, right? Finally. Finally. Well, that's what he said he was going to do. We'll see. Anyways, maybe uh, maybe you can go check and see what's taking so long with the popcorn. He'd appreciate it. It's the least you could do for him. She does mean well. All right. Well, what do you say we get back to this film? Sounds good. All right, off we go. Back to Lisa and the Devil, and uh, we're going to finish that up. And when we come back, uh, we're going to find out what Andrew is uh, doing for retirement plans. Your mother is after me. Oh. We'll go away. The two of us. I'll help you escape. We'll start a new life together. My mother is jealous yes. beyond reason. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in this nightmare. No. No. Help me. Please, help me to leave.
You're so beautiful. I didn't think there could ever be a girl as beautiful as you. You're even more beautiful than Elena. Elena? Come. Come. Where are we? No, I don't want to think about her now. She brings back so many sad memories. I loved her deeply, yet she deceived me. Come, I'll show her to you. Maximilian, I... Don't worry. I, I... Uh, Come, it's all right. Uh... Come, my love. This is Ellen. Ah! <gasps> no, don't, Lisa. No, Lisa. No, my love, you mustn't do that. Please. <laughs> I told you she means nothing to me now. Believe me, my love. She means nothing. I love you. Only you. Believe me. She could have helped me. I begged her to. But she wouldn't. She wouldn't do it. It's true. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. I hate this smell of death! We don't want funeral trimmings. This is a wedding ceremony. Do you understand? A wedding ceremony! What will that change? It's all my fault. I should have stopped you. No! I should never have let you meet her. Quiet. After what you did to Elena. After what I did to Elena? Maximilian, please. And what about what she did to me? She ran away with your husband. Maximilian, I forbid you to talk that to Your me. husband! Yet Carlos never knew why she didn't join him. I avenged myself and you at the same time. No. It's not as simple as you think, Maximilian. Now they'll come looking for all those people. Why did you do it, my child? Why? They were going to take my lease away. That would have been better for all of us. That stupid driver. I had to stop them. That girl will be the end of us. You must get rid of her. No. No. If we cover every trace of what happened here, there'll still be a chance. Otherwise, they'll take you away. And you'll be punished, my love. I can't go on like this. I can't live like this in your shrine of death. It's all around me. Maximilian. I want to live. I want to be free. I want to be with people. I understand, poor child. Don't call me that! I'm your mother. No one can understand you as I do, or protect you as I do. 
Listen to me. You will be saved only if Lisa disappears. Lisa. Listen to me, my child. Lisa. Go. Get out. Don't talk that way to your mother. You are very cruel with me today. But I forgive you. I know you don't mean what you say. Do you, my darling? Say that you love me. Styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Leandro! I... No. No. Mother! No! Please, no! Please, I... 
Stay put. Oh, it Lisa, you shall never leave me. We'll always be together. Don't go. Don't go. Here you are, Mr. Leandro. It's the best I could do. I had such a short notice. Mm. I do hope you think it's all right, sir. Oh. I'm afraid it's all too late, my friend. Oh. All too late. The airport, right away, please.
kindly refrain from smoking. Thank you. Now this is your captain speaking. We are flying at an altitude of 25,000, 30,000 feet at about 600 or 700 miles an hour. We expect to arrive at our destination according to schedule. And that wraps up Lisa and the devil. I'm confused. I mean, she's running around the plane, and there's the dummies in the back, and Telly Savalas, devil man, is the pilot, and then... She's dead. Well, but, but why? I mean, all she did was look at him. I mean... She's dead. Dead dummy. Well, but I mean, he did not, like, cast a spell or, like, wave a wand or anything. No? Dead. She's dead. All right. Dead. She's dead. So uh, anyways, uh, it was a nice movie. It looked nice, right? It was in, it was in color, which is, you know, something I like in, in a film. You know, the black and white films are just no fun. They're like, they look like your eyes, all just black and white. It's popcorn. Shows up after the movie's over. No, I thought he was making fresh popcorn. No? Well, she brought you something. What is that? It's oh that's that's from Christmas. I, I don't know if you might want to think about that before you dive into that. 
In any case, uh, that's it for us. As far as you guys go, thank you so much for staying up late and watching our show. It makes the program entirely better if you're watching it with us. And it, it makes the movie fun as well because we know there's other people watching it with us, right? Mm -hmm. Right? See? She's, she's nice about that fact. So uh, we will see you next week. Uh, we will have a guest of some kind. We will have a different movie. Don't know who, don't know what, but it will be fun. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. So, uh, Andrew, uh -huh. um, you know, now that uh, she's brought you popcorn and everything, you'd think you might forgive her for being so unkind to you at the commencement? I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs>